in this video we will be talking about the female reproductive system of cockroach. In female reproductive system there are ovaries, paired structures and each ovary is made up of about eight ovarian tubules. Now if we draw the ovarian tubule we would find that the tubule is narrow at the tip and then sw swells at the lower or the basal part. That means here in this narrower part we would find the egg developing at different stages and the fully formed egg would be seen near the swollen part. So if we draw the ovary, we would draw one ovarian tubule. Let us draw one more. So there are eight such ovarian tubules which are present in one ovary. And all these ovarian tubules would have the eggs near the terminal end. And here the eggs would be seen in the developing stages. So these ovarian tubules, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we can draw one more here so that we remember the number. And let us show one more here. So these are the eight ovarian tubules and we have drawn these tubules separated but we will draw it in a slightly different manner in the other ovary. In the other ovary the ovarian tubules can be drawn like this. That means this is one tubule, the second tubule, third and so on. So the tubules can be arranged in this manner also. So they can be spread out or they can be together, converging. And here also it's going to be the same thing that the fully formed egg would be towards the terminal end and this would have the developing stages. And all these must be shown open. So from all these eight ovarian tubules, we find that there are two ducts which are coming. So this is an ovi duct and these two ovi ducts they join to form a slightly wider duct which is known as the vagina. This vagina it opens into an area. This is the genital pouch or genital sac. If you remember when we were talking about the differences, morphological difference between male and female cockroach, we said that the abdomen of female cockroach has a boat shaped structure which is formed by the seventh sternum. So this actually is in the seventh sternum region, a boat like structure. It is actually a cavity inside and in this cavity we find this opening. So this is the opening of the female reproductive tract. It is known as the female gonopore. So the eggs would be released from the gonopore. Now very close to the gonopore we would find one more opening. And this opening is on the dorsal side. And this is a common opening again of two glands. One gland is on the left side, the other gland is on the right side. And this gland is a highly branched gland and it is called collateral gland. So this is the left collateral gland. R-I-E-L. Lateral gland. It is normally called the collateral gland. And on this side, it is less branched. So this is 
the right collateral gland. These are branched. The left one is bigger and has more branches. Now, one more structure is there. And that structure is in the form of a sac or a pouch-like structure. The structure is on top of it. Now, when we are drawing this, what exactly are we showing? We are showing that this is the vagina. This opening is the female genital pore. And here is the opening of this collateral gland. And here are those sac-like structures. But because we are seeing it from the top view, we find all the openings as if they are placed one over the other. So these are the sac-like structure. One sac is bigger and the other sac is smaller. These sac-like structures are known as spermatheca. In this, the sperms are stored. So in female reproductive system, we have the ovaries, this is one ovary, each ovary is going to have eight ovarian tubules which are small longish structures and in all these tubules we find various stages of eggs. The eggs are released alternatively. So one ovary releases the egg then the other ovary and there are two ovary ducts which are going to bring this egg through the vagina and the egg will be released from the female gonopore. Now what is going to happen during copulation is the males would deposit the sperms into these spermatheci. So sperms will remain stored here and as soon as the egg is released from these spermatheci sperms would be released and fertilize those eggs. After the eggs are fertilized, there would be secretion from these collateral glands which would harden so that the zygote which are formed, they remain inside that hard structure which is called the uthika. And then the uthika is deposited up from where the young ones which are called the nymphs would hatch. So this is the structure of female reproductive system, a paired ovaries, then oviducts, single vagina, it opens through an opening into a sac-like structure which is called the genital sac. Now, in case of females, there are certain structures which are called the external genitalia, though they are not present outside or visible from outside the body. Those structures, they are in the form of these flap-like structures and these are called ovipositors. Ovipositors are the structures which are going to help in deposition of the uthika. So uthika will be deposited, they would be given a shape by these ovipositors. So there are paired structures which are going to help in this process and these external genitalia or these structures like ovipositors they are present in this genital sac. So what is visible from outside? From outside we don't see any structure except for this boat like structure which tells us that this is a female cockroach. And inside that boat like structure there is a big cavity which is this genital sac. Now after understanding both male and female reproductive system we'll talk about the process of fertilization and after that, metamorphosis. That we will take up in the next.